at Surf Church Sunday, it's blowing. It went from 80 degrees to somewhere around 63 right now, and it's about 9.30. We're going for a surf church spin if we can, if things work out right. Tide's not low for four more hours. Uh, three more hours. I'm going to walk over here and take a look at it. All I'm doing is walking right now. See what the bay looks like. I hear some waves. So it sounds like it's kind of bumpy. Not kind of pricky, but bumpy. I just want to look. You can see it's really foggy. I didn't know it was foggy. Can't even see the bridge down there. Can't see the tunnel. I just got home from the walk. I got a text from Eddie. He went this morning to Gray Matter City. And he found some Gray Matter. Look at the fishing bait heads. <laughs> That's the same place we were the other day. He said he left them biting. <laughs> Gray Matter. That's a hell of a place. God gracious to me. This is in the paper today. It says, yesterday this photo was taken at 3.42 in the afternoon at Virginia Beach's oceanfront. There's some depositors out there right now. That's the best sign I've seen in a long time right there. Look at them. Look at them right there. Depositors. Extraordinaire. <laughs> Holy jumping Toledo. I like it. Said the beaches are supposed to be closed. <laughs> Let's see what else it says. It was closed today, but it was packed. <laughs> Well, I'm going to try to get a spot at the oak tree. It's a, not a great beach day, so I'm hoping there'll be some spots around the oak tree. If not, I'll have to get, I'll have to come back home and get Chris to drop me off at the oak tree and then walk on. We'll see in just a few seconds. Oh yeah, just as I hoped it would be. Plenty of parking by the oak tree. Excellent, extraordinary. I like it. Okay. We'll see what we find today. Well, with all the coming, we're going to get a lot of wind, like I think I told you, tomorrow and uh, Tuesday. 40, 50 mile an hour winds, maybe. Or more, who knows. FedEx Jimmy is at the, the ocean front this morning to land Anata, and he found a silver ring already. Some change, he said. Uh, I think I already showed you what Eddie found east to where I am now at the Gray Matter graveyard. Stand by. Okay, the tide's out good from where it was three hours ago when I took that first picture at my house. Still foggy, you can see. I hope you can see. Let's see what goes on here today. We're taking the, uh, the other titanium scoop today.
some depositors out, but not in the water much. All righty. Now they're having a rough go at it today. Can you see them? <laughs> No fun at all. Or maybe it is fun, I don't know. You can see we got a little inner slough right here. We'll hunt down that for a while. Got a two. I ain't too fond of twos. But you gotta start someplace, right? <laughs> ain't gonna believe what it is. Look at that. A penny. Come in at two. Well, I wasn't finding much up there, so I moved down here to the edge. See what we can find down here. It's a little bit rough, but it's okay. Well, it really looks good right through here. Lots of rocks, lots of shells, lots of iron. A jumpy eight. Fell through right now. I'm not going to look for it now. Titanium! Got a nice 12 here. All I see is a crab. Use off a little bit. We got it that time. I see nothing. I think it fell through, but I'm going back in for another hit. We had a pretty decent 10. Says it fell through right there. Fell through again. You'll never know what it was. A lot of gray matter around. Some nice rocks. You can see them all the way down through here, these rocks. Oh, I like them. But I ain't finding anything but gray matter. matter well 
Why are we iron? Nice rocks. Ought to be some tickets in these rocks. I guess the Mumbles man got them all yesterday. I mean the uh, Grey Matter man. <laughs> We got a 16. Probably another gray matter. No, it's a piece of crap. Not gray matter. Eh. Yeah. the gray matter biting I don't think I ever found that much gray matter or could have found that much gray matter at the oak tree it's always been east of there where we've been finding it one penny a boat outboard motor zinc I don't know what this is looks like it ought to be this is a little I don't know what that is some kind of doodad stuck in some iron Okay, we'll check on tomorrow. Well, the little shiny thing is <laughs> a stainless nut stuck in that pile of iron. And the long looking thing apparently is a nail or was a nail. Okay. Steak. Full gas is changing rapidly. Here comes an eagle. Eagle coming in. Freezing up. Might rain two days in a row now, they claim. I'm glad I went today. We're sharing a steak tonight. One meager steak. It looks good, don't it? Plenty thick, too. He don't see those. Mushrooms and potatoes. And wine from Lidl. Red blend. And what I got is about the asparagus guy. Big fat asparagus guy. Got boo boo. You want some steak? Hey, boo boo. You're not talking today? Hmm? You're not talking. Oh, there's boo boo. Hi, boo boo. While it's on my mind, I forgot to tell you that Boyd wants to sell this almost brand spanking new stealth scoop with the carbon fiber handle. I'll put some pictures at the end. You can see them maybe better. This is exactly like the one Denny's got, I think. Denny's thinking about it for a spare. I think Boyd wants 200 and, I can't remember, 225 or $250, I think is what he wants for it. That scoop and handle. That's about $400 worth of stuff right there, them two, two items. But I was supposed to put it in the video the other day and I completely forgot about it. But there it is. Stainless steel stealth carbon fiber handle. 